Hello everyone. My name is Raihan, and uh, today in this session, I'm going to show you how to um, migrate your existing RabbitMQ cluster into a QDB managed RabbitMQ cluster. Here I have a cluster running on uh, Cloud MQP. Uh, this is a RabbitMQ cluster consisting of a single node, and uh, this is the management UI of this cluster here. And I have another cluster which is running on Linode Kubernetes Engine or LKE. And this is the management plugin for this cluster. So basically, uh, this cluster uh, uh, is uh, now uh, empty. Uh, it have a single uh, queue, which is named Q1. And the remote cluster also have some queues. Yeah, uh, I can see there, uh, Q1 test queue, et cetera. And QDB system, this is the, uh, this is a queue which is uh, generated from the Kubernetes one. So we are going to focus only on the queue one. I am going to focus on migrating this only queue, uh, queue one uh, from MQP cluster into uh, this uh, uh, Kubernetes, uh, uh, into this RabbitMQ green cluster, which I have. And I'm going to follow this official doc documentation uh, where I'm going to migrate RabbitMQ using a blue-green deployment strategy. Basically, I am uh, considering this remote cluster, which is on MQP, uh, MQP Cloud, uh, as the blue cluster, and the cluster on Linode as the green cluster. Uh, as the green cluster, I'm going to migrate this blue cluster uh, into the green green one. And consider that the blue cluster is an upstream cluster, and a green cluster is a downstream cluster. So uh, what are we going to do? Uh, let's discuss a little at first. So in summary, we're going to, uh, firstly, we're going to federate this queue, Q1. And federation means uh, kind of we are going to, uh, we are going to uh, downstream this queue into this RabbitMQ green cluster. And what do we have to do first? So basically, in order to uh, perform this migration, uh, if you follow this documentation, you will see that uh, they are suggesting to import your definitions. And these definitions generally contains the metadata and configurations for exchanges, queues, and bindings. If you have those in your uh, existing blue cluster or upstream cluster, uh, you can set them with the import definition part. You can very easily do that with the management UI plugin. Uh, you can visit this uh, backup guide here. Uh, they have a very detailed, uh, very detailed explanation on how to do it. Uh, we are going to skip this in this session. We are going to focus on uh, actually uh, how to migrate the messages from these queues uh, into the downstream cluster. And for that, we're going to use two, uh, two of the RabbitMQ plugins. One is named uh, RabbitMQ Federation plugin, and the other one is RabbitMQ Shovel plugin. So let's see how to configure the RabbitMQ Federation plugin first. So we're going to federate this queue into the downstream uh, cluster or RabbitMQ green cluster. So uh, in, order to do, in order to do that, we don't have to do anything in this remote cluster. Uh, just jump into the management UI of this this one, and from this cluster, go to this admin panel, go to policies, and here we'll set a policy. So, if you uh, if you give it just a look, uh, this Q one here, it's it has uh, it's. It has this virtual host on uh, this, this thing. This is the virtual host of this uh, queue. But I'm going to uh, use the root virtual host of my down, downstream cluster uh, to federate this queue. OK, let's name it just federation. And in the pattern section, you can provide regex. So I am going to add a regex, which, which says, I'm going to select all the queues which has this queue as its pre prefix. I'm going to select all just a quorum queues. You can just select all or exchange these queues, whatever you like, as per your preferences. And 
I'm going to select this federation upstream set and select all. Okay. So these are all of my configurations. Yeah, and I'm going to create this policy. Once my policy is created, now let's jump into this federation upstream. Okay. So here you will set the upstream URL, uh, upstream of the upstream cluster, uh, the upstream RabbitMQ cluster from which you want to federate your uh, RabbitMQ queues. And let me just name it federation two, and I'm going to provide the URL. It's just auto completed. Okay. So here I have provided the URL for the remote cluster. And you can provide all of your configuration as per your requirement if you want to do that. I'm just going to uh, uh, use this URL and the same now. Okay, so let me add this uh, federation upstream. Okay, once the federation upstream has been set, go to federation status and you will find that uh, this Q1 Q, it has been bounded. As the federation upstream. Okay, so it's set now. So, federation plugin doesn't work until a uh, a consumer starts consuming from the cluster, or uh, so or, or your cluster is just or your queue is just uh, empty on your consumer side. So. If you can see uh, here, I have a uh, consumer and a publisher pod running. So this is the logs from the publishers. Uh, it's a it's a generally a simple Go program which is uh, publishing a random messages at every five second. And hey, this is the log for the consumer pod, where uh, you know, whenever a message is published from the publisher. It's does the it's just receiving the message and the sprinting is at log as logs, okay. So right now both of this publisher and this uh, consumer port is redirected into the remote cluster, not the uh, uh, no, uh, not the green cluster or the downstream cluster. So what we're going to do is at first we're going to uh, redirect the consumers directly to the downstream cluster where we have our federated queue. So let's do that. So this is the consumer deployment and I'm going to update this. I'm going to change the RabbitMQ host. Name. This is the host name for my RabbitMQ. As for the virtual host, I'm going to take root. Uh, this all should be same. The username, password, those should be taken from this secret. The downstream cluster uses a separate username and password for the admin user. And I think everything else can remain the same. Let's save this file. So as you can see, uh, the consumer pod is restarting. Now it's running. So let's see the logs for the consumer pod. And as you can see, as new messages are being published from the publisher, the consumer is receiving those messages from the downstream cluster. Messages are published from the upstream cluster, but downstream cluster is receiving from the cons consumers. So this is how you can migrate your consumers using Federation plugin. Okay, so there goes the first part. Now we want to uh, also migrate our publishers as well. Okay, so before you do that, before you uh, migrate all of your publish, uh, all of them, let's take a look at this again. 
So according to this uh, documentation, uh, after you migrate your consumers over, you need to drain those messages. Uh, you can just migrate the producers, but before migrating the producers, what you can do, you if you have a large backlog, let's uh, assume that you have a lots of messages, uh, but your consumers are not consuming them right now. Uh, their consumer is uh, comparatively slower to your, uh, uh, let's say, uh, producer. You can use the Shovel plugin to just directly move those messages into your downstream cluster. So I'm going to use that. So in order to use the Shovel manage, uh, Shovel plugin, you can go to Shovel Management. You can just add a new Shovel. Let's name it a Shovel. Uh, keep the source as it. These are the queue names. And here we'll provide the upstream cluster URL. There it is. Let me check, check if it's the right one. Okay. And this should be the downstream cluster URL. Okay. Okay, I'm sure the username and password has been changed as well as the URL. Let me uh, add those. Okay, I know the password, so I don't need to get those. Let me get the URL for my RabbitMQ Green cluster. I will take the its primary host IP. Yes, I got it. So the this should be password. At the red the host name. Let me just remove this HTTP here. We are using MQP communication. Okay. So I'm going to add this shovel. Now the shovel has been added. Jump into shovel status. And you can see that it's starting state. Okay. So if there are any uh, backlogs in your queue, uh, all of those messages, messages will be easily transmitted. Okay. So now let's get back to our terminal. Now, finally, now we are going to migrate our producers to our downstream cluster. Okay. So we're going to do the same. We're going to change the RabbitMQ host name. Send the rabbit name in space. We are going to provide the fully qualified domain name. Okay, in our downstream cluster, we are not using that virtual host from our upstream cluster. So we have changed that as well. Credential secret is also changed.
Okay. I think I don't need to change anything else. So let's just do it. So my publisher cluster has restarted. If I see logs from my publisher pod, here you can see uh, 4.9 and 4.9, 14, 14. Yes. So the new, new messages from the publisher, which is publishing to my downstream cluster now here. I am receiving them from this downstream cluster uh, consumer. Let's jump into this. And now as we have successfully migrated our, uh, our queue, our consumer and our producer, now we can just simply delete this shovel. And we can also delete this federation as well, if you like. Okay. So now I don't have any upstream shovel, upstream federation, or any shovel running for moving the messages. But here, my producer and consumers are working perfectly. They're, they're working in sync by publishing and receiving messages from both int. Okay, so that was it basically. Uh, that's how you can migrate your existing RabbitMQ cluster into a kubedb managed RabbitMQ cluster using federation and shovel plugin. You can uh, also uh, use the uh, export and import definition APIs to export the definitions for uh, exporting your app bind uh, your bindings your uh, exchanges into uh, into your new cluster your queues and your user into the downstream cluster and after that you want to start federation and shovel to migrate your messages and as well as the consumers and publishers and finally now you can dispatch your old cluster or blue cluster or upstream cluster whatever you call it and move to your fresh yeah, green cluster into production. Okay. Thank you very much.